oh, oh, hello, it's, uh, hal- hi, hi, uh, this is the Headphone Addict, and uh, today we're doing a review of uh, the Sony MDR-1R headphones, with cable, and without noise cancellation and Bluetooth. Let's start this review. Okay guys, so let's review the Sony MDR-1R. Uh, firstly, I want to tell you that I received these headphones from Sony, so this is going to be a completely biased, uh, positive review, uh, completely corrupt, because I got to keep these. And uh, as a reviewer, when you get to keep something, you have to give out completely corrupt reviews. So that's what you're going to get today, a completely corrupt review, and also, in the description box there's a link to amazon.com so if you decide to believe me go there and pick them up so I'll make a ton of money out of you now seriously though I'm going to give you my raw opinion on these and uh, I have to say it's not only positive so stay tuned for the full review Firstly, let's talk about the look, feel and comfort. These come in three variations. This is the simplest of the three. Without active noise cancelling, uh, without wireless, it's only cables and uh, that's that really. Firstly, they're extremely lightweight, weighing in at only 240 grams. Uh, the 240 grams weight is um, partly due to the uh, build or the construction which is plastic as you can hear mostly plastic uh, except from these which are probably some kind of steel or maybe just hard plastic as well I'm not really sure honestly but they are extremely lightweight and uh, that's pretty good if you are going to use these uh, out and about and uh, these pads they are extremely plush and comfortable. Oh, so good. So good. Yeah, so they are extremely comfortable to wear and due to their lightweight, they completely di uh, disappear on your head. Uh, they come in two variations, this red and black one and one silver and uh, beige or brown one, which I think looks uh, better uh, than these. Even though black and red are very good for me. So these are very comfortable headphones and uh, they are very, very, very comfortable. Uh, they also have quite a bit of extension as you can see. And uh, well, I wouldn't dare to uh, wrap them around all around the place uh, like some V mode uh, M100s or something like that because they would probably break. Uh, but the flexibility of these cans, uh, the tail pan and everything, uh, it really makes for a comfortable fit. So that's good. Also, let's do some measurements. As you can see here, I've got this caliper. So fancy caliper indeed. So let's see how the pad is. About 1.5 inches which translates to 37 millimeters. And the height of the pad is 63.5 millimeters, which translates to 2.5 inches. So that's good to know if you have huge ears or small ears or something like that. So those are the measurements. Okay guys, so the accessories, well firstly you get this nice looking pouch, um, I do like hard cases but this pouch is pretty nice, it has a good material and uh, it also has an internal pocket here so you can separate the headphones from your cables, cables, because we get, we get two pair of cables with these headphones, uh, you get an Apple remote, 
which unfortunately is quite useless to me because as all cool people I is running HTC Android device with the Beats, yeah. So the uh, cable is uh, 1.2 meters, both of them is actually uh, a little bit uh, too short uh, if you like to use it uh, on your desktop, uh, in my opinion. Uh, I find myself pulling on this cable quite a lot because the uh, head amp input is uh, a little bit far away so 1.2 meters is a little too little well uh, so you got this uh, TRRS because there is also a microphone on this cable and uh, you basically have volume up and down play pause and uh, well that's about it really so if you got an uh, I device this is good for you if you got an Android well not so good so I've basically been using this cable and both cables has this uh, what should I say I'm going to show you a clear view of it uh, these small rails and uh, or contour structure to them and when they rub against your clothes you will hear it in the headphones unfortunately other than that, good uh, cable design uh, with respect to the plugs, because these plugs work with everything, anything. They are not proprietary, so if you need a longer plug, you can pretty much stick it in here and you're good to go. So uh, I've been using a longer cable for these actually. So that's about the accessories and uh, let's move on. Okay guys, so now let's talk about my subjective impressions of these headphones. Uh, firstly, let me tell you about what they excel at. Uh, what these excel at is the imaging. These are probably the best imaging headphones I've heard in this price range. Uh, they beat... Uh, Best sellers uh, Audio Technica ATH M50X, for instance, and I also think they throw a better image than uh, the Sennheiser Momentum, both on air and uh, over ears. So, at imaging, they do an excellent job. Uh, I believe the reason is these angled drivers. So, that's the positive. Now, let me give you some of the negatives firstly we remember that these are portable headphones hence the uh, microphone cable for i devices and also the other cable both of which are only 1.2 meters so 1.2 meters microphone cable uh, they are intended for portable use. Also high sensitivity of 105 decibel at 1 milliwatt and uh, 48 ohm impedance. So all of this is, indicates a portable headphone, which they are also lightweight. But that aside, they don't isolate that well against outside noise and they also don't isolate the outside from what you're listening to. So let me give you an idea. Uh, when a pair of headphones don't isolate all that well, what you tend to do is to ramp up the volume to compensate. And ramping up the volume to compensate, uh, firstly, it gives you more distortion as all small drivers will distort more if you play them louder. Um, not only small drivers, even large drivers will distort more, especially in the bass. So, higher volume means more distortion. Secondly, higher volume, dangerous for your ears. So, that's two things. Uh, a nice pair of portable headphones uh, should be isolating better than these do, in my opinion. So, that you don't have to compensate by turning the volume up. On the positive side, by 
not isolating all that well, you're able to focus on outside events such as cars and traffic etc. Because a lot of people I hear is being run over because they're wearing headphones and not paying attention to what's going on on the outside. I think that one of the reasons why these don't isolate all that well has to do with this. I'm going to show you a close-up but there's a port here and this port probably serves a couple of features or a couple of functions. Uh, first being that they dry up the base so it's not that boomy. Secondly, keeps the warmth and gives you ventilation so your ears don't get all that hot during warm summer days etc. But that aside, these do sound extremely good um, as far as imaging goes and as far as soundstage goes. So that's the positive on these. Now, they are marketed as high-res headphones and uh, they are specified to give you a frequency response from 4 all the way up to 80 kilohertz. And even though my measurement devices uh, can't reliably measure 4 hertz and uh, all the way up to 80 kilohertz, they do roll off in a range that the microphone can hear uh, or can measure should I say uh, and that's very low down so uh, actually the treble on this or yes the treble on this is significantly rolled off as I'll show you later in the measurements uh, also they give you a little bit of distortion around 20 Hertz so I would say that <laughs> these don't go to 4 Hertz and all the way up to 80 kilohertz, at least not linearly. So that's my humble opinion. Tonality wise, they are quite bass heavy and the mids are recessed in comparison to the bass and the treble more so. And they even have a couple of dimples in the um, upper mid range which probably is the reason why these sound not bright but they sound detailed should I say but still not being harsh and that's probably due to a couple of dimples I'll show you later Furthermore, uh, they are quite bass heavy as I say, they have a quite significant boost in the bass but it's not boomy bass and it's not punchy bass so they don't have the same boomy bass as something such as Beats by Dr. Dre Pro and uh, not the same punchy impact as something like um, Audio Technica ATH M50X or uh, Accidentally Extraordinary 51st Studios. But they do sound quite nice, uh, especially due to the wide soundstage. So that's the pros of these. The bass is also uh, fairly detailed and uh, it sounds fairly good. I wouldn't say exceptional, I think the Audio Technica ATH M50X is better in that department. And also the mid-range, uh, it lacks in the upper mid-range. So you don't get a lot of detail. You get details in the lower mid-range, but not in the upper one. So I wouldn't call them dark sounding. I would call them fast paced and uh, bass and mid focused, but not upper mid, mid focused. So that's pretty much my idea of these headphones. Okay guys, so we come to the summary and conclusion of this review. So these are the accessories. A couple of cables, 1.2 meter both of them. The cable only usable for iDevices, uh, doesn't work well on Android devices. You also get this dirty pad which has an internal pocket which lets you separate the cables from the headphones. Very nice. Then you have the headphones, lightweight, extremely comfortable, throws a large soundstage. Uh, has a rolled off treble and doesn't deliver on the promise of uh, 4 to 80 kilohertz response. Although it does have quite a good deep bass and also it has good mids. Although the upper mids and the treble is rolled off. So basically this has been my review of these and uh, I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, I hope you 
take a look at my other reviews, maybe subscribe, maybe thumb up, uh, maybe use my affiliate links and make me a rich man. So uh, anyways, thank you for watching and I hope you have a nice day. Bye!